Hello, so today we're going to be doing a long graduation haircut and a kind of flicky out blow dryer. So if you like what you saw just then, then please stick around. I'll show you step by step of how to create this look. Um, the client has previously had her hair coloured, so we did a, do a root tint. If you want to see how to apply a root tint, please check out some of my other videos. Um, I've shampooed the hair. And now I'm just going to section the hair ready to get her hair cut into this long graduation. So I tend to always separate the hair. So you've got two sections. You've got the front section and you've also got the back section. I always work on the back section first, um, making sure that I create straight lines when uh, sectioning. Use your comb to section and clip high up and out the way, ready to start your first guideline. So, this is the back section here. And the client just wants a trim. So she's got the basic haircut in there, first of all. So we're just going to be taking about an inch off her hair. So tilting the head forward, pulling the hair straight down as far as what you can go, keeping it nice and tight. You're going to be doing your guideline. I start in the middle and then I go to the left and then I go to the right. And then I just check my balance, make sure it's okay. Combing it down, making sure at zero degrees there's no graduation Taking there. Taking down the next section. So it's probably about an inch higher, or an inch and a bit higher. You can see the guideline through that. So as you tilt the head forward, you're going to match the guideline exactly. Trying to keep the hair as close to the back as you possibly can. Try not to lift it. And we're just following the same pattern as what we did last time. So start in the middle, go to the left. And then from the middle, you go to the right. Check the balance and move up. Now the next section that I'm going to bring down is slightly shorter because the client's hair was previously um, cut into this. So you can see there's not much left to cut. There might be a few strands. Um, if your client's hair is all one length at this point, then just continue to cut until it is all the same length. Like so. Checking the balance, making sure that it's okay. And then getting ready to do the side. So I always tilt the client's head, head away Check that that bit is straight, and if that's straight, then you can move forward. You can take the side sections into, into two panels if you want. But I know that this client's hair isn't too thick at the sides. So check the back section, make sure that that's straight. If that's straight, then you can move forward. Wasn't too much coming off the front. I know that she's got a bit of a forward graduation. So we'll cut that a little bit more. So we're going to move on to the layers. Now this is where you can choose to start your long graduation if you want. So I'm just simply going to section the hair back into two. So you've got your front section and then you've got your back section. Keep your lines as straight as you can. And uh, the sections normally from just behind the ear to the other ear. Now pulling the hair up. I'm just going to adjust it so it's a bit higher. So pulling the hair up, you need to choose a length that you think is suitable for your client. You don't want to take it too short because you'll end up um, taking too much off. And I'm just going to go in orange sections 
until I run out of hair. So this should be my last section now. I pull up, very little to cut off. Once I've done that orange section, think of it like a Terry's chocolate orange. You're going to move around to the next section now. And you can see that I cut a section and then um, split it in half and then go down a little bit further. So the guideline is at the top. I don't want to miss any strands, so I'm just going to pull this section back. I'm just going to take all of this now and just pull it up. And what I do to the right hand side, I'm now going to copy and do to the left hand side. So I'm just taking it in orange sections, putting the hair up, and then cutting kind of straight. So it is pulling the hair kind of out and then up. So you're cutting horizontal on your fingers. So pull the hair out and then slide your fingers up. So you can balance check and then you can also go in and just cross check. So I'm just going to pull this section up towards my face. Any loose strands, just take them off. I'm going to do the left hand section as well. So I'm just putting, putting it into two quarters really. Combing it from underneath, bringing it up to my face. And just trimming off the little bits. And then I can just check the middle, make sure left and right obviously match. You can point cut that if you wanted to. I'll just club cut it across. So that to me is the back section is all complete now. It's fully layered. Now the front section, you can choose different kind of layers here. <clears throat> you can do round layers or long layers. You can pull these sections back as well to meet the long graduation that you had. And then that will just make it a little bit longer towards the front. So I'm just pulling the left section out. And I'm pulling everything out 90 degrees to the head. So I'm not, I'm not pulling it back. So this section here, pulling it out and up 90 degrees to the head. I'm not pulling it back and making it longer at the front. Whatever falls, just let it fall. Because it's part of the length. And then in the middle, I'm just going to go through the middle. Just point cut any areas that seem to be a little bit longer. Now I'm just going to check the hair horizontally. Making sure I've not missed any strands. And making sure as well that the back section connects with the front section. So that there is your layers. I've got two things left to do. I've got a forward graduation to finish off and also a fringe trim. So I'm just going to section off the hair at the front. So we'll do the forward graduation first. So I'll check the points at the front. And gradually just pulling it down and round and cutting upwards at an angle. I'm 
the same this side. So this side I'm going to cut downwards. So you're cutting at an angle. Sometimes you don't follow your fingers, you follow like the line going down. Sometimes if you follow your fingers, you end up cutting too much off. So you've got to imagine a straight line. Now what I'm going to do is just section off the fringe. Now the fringe is previously cut, so I'm trying to find the previous cut. Um, you often miss the odd few strands, which you can pick up after the blow dry. But yeah, some people might prefer to cut the fringe at the end once the hair is dry, especially if they've got like a cowslip going on so you can see how it's going to lay. So with my fringes, I tend to cut straight in the middle where the nose is and then on the right side and the left side, I angle down. So it appears to be a little bit longer um, left and right. And then I can just point cut the fringe I don't want to do too much I think I'll just leave it there and then I will cross check it or check it when um, the fringe is dry see how it lays now the whole haircut is done but I know the client did say she wanted some thinning out sometimes I would wait until I finish drying this haircut and thin it out but today I'm just going to thin it out with thinning scissors on wet hair um, the scissors that I've got doesn't take too much hair off so I know it's not going to um, leave the client bald really or really too thin sometimes when the hair's wet it glues together so much and your thinning scissors can take off too much but my scissors um, don't do that when the hair's wet. They're quite. Um, they don't. I don't know why they don't just don't take off much. I don't know. Might be the uh, the gaps between the actual serration serrated scissors there. Now the client likes the hair as like a flicky out blow dryer, and she does like flicking it out herself. So I'm just going in and thinning out like it's flicky and that will help with some blow drying techniques as well so it will help the, the flicks last a bit longer so I'm just putting the thinning scissors out that's where she says it's quite bulky um, you can put it in at the ends, you can go in at the roots. So just talk to your client, find out where the thick areas are, where it is really heavy. It's often thicker one side more than the other because nothing is symmetrical all, all over our body. So even the hair is different, but especially if I have a side part in, the hair will tend to be thicker one side because there's more hair over that side. So now the whole hair cut is done. I'm gonna go straight in and blow dry with my Super Sculpt. I like a bit of Super Sculpt. It gives a, a nice little glaze. Also, it magically makes your blow dry go quicker. So it does um, speed up your blow drying process. Now, because she's gonna be having a little bit of flicks on the blow dry itself, I'm gonna use another product as well. This one is called um, uh, perfect setting by Wella. I love the smell of this one. Just spray it evenly all over. You can use that product on absolutely every person. It's, it is nice. So as always, we're going to rough dry off the hair. 
so it's a little bit drier and then we'll section it ready to blow dry. So this is my first bit blow drying now, making sure that we lift at the roots, give it some volume. I'm using a round brush, it's a kind of medium sized round brush. And we're going to flick it out. The first section never really goes flicky, so don't spend too long on that bit. It's when you go up the head and the hair's a little bit shorter, that's when it does tend to um, flick. Obviously, if you need to enhance the flicks a little bit more, you can go in with the straightening irons and just flick it up rather than go straight or go under. So I'm going to continue blow drying this hair, giving it volume, giving it flicks underneath. Around the front section, I'm going to roll it in, inwards. And on the top section, I'm going to roll it under as well. So, enjoy watching this blow dry.
So this bit you need to decide, are you going to flick it out or are you going to roll it under? I'm actually going to roll it under. She's got some feathers going on there. So that bit I want to roll under, which is the opposite to what we've done so far. This section, I'm going to want to flick that out.
So the top section, lots of volume in here. And I'm just going to roll all of it um, so that it goes under. So all through this parting, and she has a side parting, but all through this parting section, I'm going to roll the hair so it sits under and it doesn't flick out. So the hair is on top of the brush. I'm going to continue doing the same to every section along the top. So even though I'm standing in front of my client, I'm still actually doing the same blow drying method as before and just rolling it under. So that there is the blow dry finished. You can go back in with the thinning scissors, thin out areas that need to be done. Double check the fringe, making sure that you've not missed any little strands. Apply your finishing products as well. And just make sure that the whole haircut is even. So the haircut is now done, the colour was done previously and now we're just finishing it off with a bit of spray. You can spray it from underneath and this here is the finished look. 
So it's going under on top, flicking out around the underneath. So I hope you liked watching this video and learning how to do long graduation with the blow dries. If you like this, then like and subscribe for more.